Good evening, everyone. Our big story at 10, a Valley mother facing child abuse charges, but she claims she did nothing wrong. So she's accused of using a shocking method to try to wake up her son to go to church on Easter Sunday. Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us live with why the woman wound up in police custody. Rachel? Yeah, guys, Sharon Dobbins claims the situation isn't as it seems. She's a mother of the two teens. She says she only used the stun gun noise to get the guys out of bed. I said, hey, get up. And, and, and I, I just made the noise with it. I said, hey, spark a fire up on you guys. Sharon Dobbins' boys were asleep in their room when she tried to wake them up for Easter services. So you got to go get dressed and get pretty for Easter. I bought my son some J's that they don't even want to wear, some Jordans. She says the family goes to church regularly, so when they didn't get out of bed, she grabbed the stun gun. I didn't tase my son. I just uh, uh, made the noise and I said, hey, son, get up for Jesus. It is his day. But court documents paint a different story. Police say her 17 year old had two bumps on his left leg where he says he was stunned, but didn't complain of any pain, even though he's the one who called police. And he seen me crying going in a police car. And I told him, hey, hey everybody has problems. Uh, the families have problems and stuff. And they took me to jail and I said, it's Easter. I just wanted them to go to church. She was released, but she and her son are not allowed to stay in the same place. They said that he can't be here. He has nowhere to go. I'm his mom. Her next court date is set for April 16th. She's hopeful this whole thing will blow over. I walked from the jail all the way back home, and I hugged my kids and told them I love them. She tells us in the future she plans to use communication as a way to get her kids to do what they're told, of course, to avoid another situation like this. We're live in Phoenix. Rachel Cole, 12 News at 10.